Jemco stuff here, Jemco stuff here, Jemco stuff here, Jemco stuff here. I forgot to do an intro, so hey guys, it's me, Lemo. Um, stay tuned to watch me unboxing my Jemco order and feeding Geralt a scrimps or no, a krill. And did I say Geralt or Geralt? Yeah, so stay tuned, okay? And then also the Starry Nights went missing, but secretly we found them. Should we take it away from him? I don't know. It's just kind of like playing with it. D well, he doesn't have his teeth. Zoom in. What's he doing? There's a detritus worm in here. I'm feeding too much. See this detritus worm right in the front? Yeah. Oh, I just had it. I missed it. There it goes right here. It's on, oh. the, it's on the left of the screen. No, I'm looking at it in the tank. Whoops. What's Paku doing? Playing with a snail. It, is this entertainment for him? I don't know. It Why won't like, he just let it go? Looks like entertainment. What? Wasn't he just stink? choking on it a second ago? He's just playing with it in his mouth. He's the one that spit it up and started doing this game of catch with it. I think he wants to bust it. Maybe. I thought he said they were vegetarians. He's, he's clearly not choking on it. He's just messing with it. Well, what about Geralt? Well, Geralt wants shrimp. No, krill. krill. Same thing. Look at him. Yeah, he's sad. Look at his little flappy arms. Yeah. Do and you look, wanna... he even put his bright stripes on when he came in. Here, do you want to hold this and I'll go get the krill? And you can record Geralt and talk to him? I want to record the pocket it's playing catch with the snail. I'll get Geralt too. Geralt's over there hanging out. And the Paku is playing catch with a dead snail. Which by Which is odd for a vegetarian if you ask me. Where's the Starry Knights? You think Paku ate them? No. I don't know. The two Starry Night ones are always around. Hopefully they didn't die. Well, how would they have died? I don't know. Are they in the cave over there? No. You didn't put him in another tank? No. You want this, Carol? She's like, yeah, I do. Come over here, dummy. She said, put some respect on my name. Look at him. He's like, there he goes. And he's taking it over there. The Starry Nights really are missing, huh? Yeah, where'd they go? I mean, two of them. Are they hiding in the background and mating or something? They were too young to be mating. They might be behind the background. I don't know how they would get behind it, though. They're too big to get behind it, I think. I don't think they can get in the sump but if they're not in the tank I don't know. Well, the only option is for them to I, be in the sump I guess we'll pause this and we'll come back when we find them so I saw one of the starry nights behind the background right here um I guess they're getting in through some of these bigger cracks they're gonna have to figure out how to get out or I guess I'm going to have to cut some of the background away 
Because that background is tied into the under gravel filter. I can't just take the background off. So, they'll figure it out or I'll have to cut a hole. Okay, here. Oh, are you bringing it to me? It is. Is it going? Ready? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to focus on this camera though. If I talk to you, I'll look away. And then, you know, the camera will slowly stray to one side because I'll forget what I'm doing. Now you're doing it. And now I'm talking, so then I gotta bring the camera back. It says Gemco Inc. Linear piston air pump LA45C, 115 volts AC. Two of them. Babe, are you listening? Two of them. Max w wanted to be on camera. And I got a discount because I have my LLC. Because I'm, they put me as commercial um, fish breeder. Right. That's what I was saying. Industrial fish farm. So it's wrong when I say it, but when Gemco does. Well, they're giving me a discount. It's cool. Max, what do you think? And then airline tube in 500 feet silicone clear. Are you even, there's like a black, is the shelf in the way? No. Oh, it looked like the black shelf is in the way. All right, ready? All right, so these um, box filters are the same ones that um, Greg Sage uses. He said that Gemco bought the mold or the patent to print these like a long time ago, and they're the only ones that produce these box filters. He said that they're really good at sucking up stuff from the bottom. I mean, if you have substrate, not so much, but like if you have a bare bottom tank, they're really good at sucking it up, he said. And how many did you get? It doesn't make any sense because there's no holes on the Did bottom. you get one for every tank? Well, right here I just have 24. So you get a discount if you buy them in a case of 24. Is the camera crooked? Okay, so the if you buy them in a case of 24, then they're cheaper. Um, this doesn't make any sense though because there's no holes on the bottom. So I don't know how they're sucking stuff up from the bottom. I hope these are the same kind. So I couldn't afford to get the other two cases, so I just got one case right now. But yeah, I want to put one in every tank. So, and I'll have a couple extra because 24 times 3 is what? 72? Yep. And I have 
65 tanks? Dang. Why does he look so sad? Why are you doing that? Wake up. <laughs> my, man, like, my man was vibing. That's glass. Substrate. I mean, it's not sharp, but... And then these are the lift tubes. He said, we got to cut them in half to ship them. I said, that's okay. I only need six inch lengths. I think this is the wrong size. I don't know. I think this is the wrong one. Like, I don't think that, I don't think they gave me the wrong one. They gave me the one I asked for. But I might have picked the wrong one. I'll have to ask Greg Sage. But you put your airline here and it's like, I'm gonna cut six inches and then they'll be like super charged. They'll like do super suction. Or maybe not six inches. However many inches I need to make it to like almost the top of the water line. Right babe? Yeah. So I think I got enough tubes for all of them, even though I don't have all of them. Oh no, they didn't send me all the tubes because they didn't send me all the box filters right now. They did a really good job at packing this. I mean, Greg Sage says it. They do a really good job at sucking the stuff off the bottom of the tanks, but there's no holes. So that's what makes me think I have the wrong one. Look out, Binks. Oh my god, there's more. Is somebody counting? This should be 24. Okay. And then, what about things? I don't think he was supposed to send me these yet. I was like, I only have a thousand bucks. Lifeguard, one inch fit. Those are those 90 degrees that I said I don't have enough money for yet. Don't send them yet, I think. Are they on the ticket? Um, That's a big bag of fittings. Yeah, so these, it should be 75 of them because you get a discount, I think, if you buy 25 of them or something. But it's supposed to be slit by barb, and this goes in the back of the bulkhead. It slips in, and then you put a one inch flex tube on this, and this is for the overflow to drain it. I don't remember. One inch fit by insert, fit times insert 90. R2. RPT 12LJ. Oh, rigid plastic tubing. Bushing. No, that's the install kit. I don't know, I definitely need these, but I thought that we didn't put these. I definitely need them, but I thought I told them I had to order them next time, so I don't know if, I don't know. I have to look. I'm not good at reading stuff under pressure. Here's my 500 feet of tubing, airline tubing, and it's the soft, squishy, bendy kind. Yeah. Which I like that kind. It's like silicone. surgical. Yeah, it's like silicone. I, yeah. The other kind I don't really like. The kind that's hard. I don't know. I don't know which one's better. I like the flappy kind though. I like the way it feels. Maybe over time it's inferior. 
And then these are the install kits, I'm guessing. I told him to send me install kit for install kit for air pump LPH 26 through 45. Always locate pump above water level of highest aquarium or above pond. If locating outdoors, protect from flooding conditions and prevent exposure to direct sunlight or driving rain. Use included flexible tubing to connect air pump to PVC pipe or manifold distribution system. Shorten tubing if need to avoid excess kinking of tubing. Rubber elbow can also be used as is or cut elbow portion and use only straight longer section to connect the pump outlet. Rubber connection to pump outlet is preferred and will hold better on smooth pump outlet nipple than vinyl tubing. Hose clamps should be positioned on straight section of hose barb fittings just behind barb edge. Follow instructions included with air pump. All right, so I have two pumps, so I got two of these kits. So these kits are for free when you get the pumps. Right. And you just tell them what size manifold you're going to do, if you're going to do three-fourths or one inch. And so you got a gate valve on that one? This one's different. That looks like a pump hookup kit and a gate valve and 75 a, ball valves. This is my dump and silencer. So to relieve the pressure and silence it. Right. It's a gate valve. Yeah, it's a gate valve, but it's not just a gate valve. I'm saying like the purpose of it is to dump, dump. And then these, oh, here's my tap. So this goes on my drill once my new chuck gets here. And so that will put, this gives you one sixteenth national pipe thread female threading tap, HSS threading tap, dry seal thread for Gemco AV1B air valve. First drill quarter inch hole in PVC pipe. So I'll get a quarter inch bit, drill the hole, and then tap it to put threads in the hole. And then these little valves, yeah. these valves have barb, uh, what am I saying? Threads on this side, 1 16th yeah. national pipe And then thread. you just do a little bit of thread sealant, thread it in there, it's good to go. Yeah, and then this side is barbed for the air. Yeah. And then I got 75 of these because you get a discount when you do 25. And so I had 65 tanks, so I'll have extra. It says directions for installing valve. So that's a, basically what I just said. Perfectly proof seal wrap threads of valve with Teflon tape. Wrap in the same direction as the threads, i.e. clockwise when viewed from the end of threads. You know that one. Yeah. You taught me that. Yep. On, I don't know what we were doing, but you taught it to me. Here's a letter. You just got a letter. Bleed valve instructions. Okay, bleed valve, not dump. It's the same thing though, I guess. Maybe not. To properly bleed a pump that is not utilized to capacity, follow these instructions. I'll probably need that. Yeah, I'll run to that. Pump. And then what's in there? Your two pumps? What else? We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Whoa. This is all my air stones. I got a bunch of them. Yeah, you did. 75 of them. It should be. Because um, you get a discount when you get 25. Now, I thought this was going to fit inside of those box filters, but it doesn't have to because the box filter has a separate. I think those box filters look different than the picture I saw. There's something right with them box filters. That's not what I thought they were going to be. I might have picked the wrong one. They look pretty good. They the, do. Huh? Well, show me the pump. I want to see the pump. Oh, sorry. I was saving it for last. Well, you, you did. Now the anticipation is killing me. Okay. 
I mean, this entire project is centered around those two air pumps. Can you see me on the camera? Yeah. That says Mido Blower. Linear piston air compressor. Yes. If output seems diminished upon initial startup, you may have to loose outlet coupling internally on pump housing. This happens occasionally during shipping. Remove main housing cover on air pump by unscrewing the four screws on corner of plastic housing. Lift off upper half of housing. Look carefully where outlet nipple connects to a rubber coupling. There is an insert within plastic housing nipple which engages the internal rubber coupling. This insert can get pushed outwards and away from the rubber coupling. Place a pencil or other similar sized tool into the outlet nipple of pump housing and push inwards to re-engage with the rubber coupling while holding the rubber coupling inside housing of pump. Also note that air will always take the path of least resistance. So if you have outlets open to the atmosphere, you may not get full flow to the outlets that run into water depth. Of course, you need to make sure pump is not running in an overly restricted state for extended periods of time. Ensure that the pump should run a minimum number of outlets as indicated on the front of label air pump. If not, then you will need to bleed excess air to atmosphere. Where does it say indicated on the front on the front of label air pump? Look, babe, a manual. You like those. You like to read those. Look, it has a serial number. Yeah. And if we save this paper in 40 years when we dismantle this fish room, we can sell this as an antique and it'll still be running. Yeah, we'll say, we'll we say could we sell it to some young whippersnapper for 17 nickels. 25 schmickles. Keep filter clean, check every six months. Apparently no one does that. It's like the cool kid thing to like just set this up and never look at it again. And then they just run forever. But that's it. It's the 45. And nope. it has a tube. No, a cord. And then you putting this yep. on there, and mm -hmm. then putting this on your PVC. Very good. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm a real fish fish room now. Yeah. Now it's a whole other construction zone. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We'll get it done eventually, right, Max? Yes. Well, Lindy loves cat tube. Okay, Lindy does love cat tube. It's Lumble tube. Is it still recording? Yeah, I'm going upstairs. Bye. Bye, see you next Come time. With their, their I gotta put all this away. I'm not ready to do it right now. He was filming me in his boxers. So I had to wait for him to walk away. But yeah, you guys, that's exciting, huh? I have two of them. Because these are the littler ones that apparently only do 31 decibels. Oh my god, Binks! What are you doing? Um, let me see. They do 31 decibels, and then the next size up did 48 decibels. So... And in one of Corey from Aquarium Co-op's videos, he was doing one of the littler pumps, and there was a lot quieter than the bigger one. So, I decided that I would use two smaller pumps and bleed off the extra, and it might possibly be quieter than one of the bigger pumps. We'll see. 
I got a big old mess now. But um, I got that wood painted and put in here on the shelf, on the racks. So I just got to move the tanks in, which means I got to move some fish around because some of the tanks that are holding fish right now are not drilled. So I got to move the fish out of those tanks, break those tanks down, and then drill those tanks and then put them in here and then rescape them and fill them up and everything. So this is not how I want any of my tanks to look. This is all temporary aquascapings and temporary air pumps and temporary everything. It's not finished yet. Like eventually I want to get like some flappy boys for right here. Like some wood flappy boys so that the light so that the light doesn't bother us. Oh, and I'm also getting all custom acrylic lids made that are going to be, I'm not even going to be using these glass lids, but I have to rinse those off and use those temporarily to cut down on the evaporation. Um, so, I have a lid that's from Life with Pets or Living Life with Pets or something. And it's designed for a 20 long that's divided by four, divided into four different spaces. I'm going to use that same principle but have like different cutouts. It's just going to be like a quarter inch or whatever the size is below quarter inch thickness acrylic lid. And it'll be strong enough for the cats to walk on. Because you know they will because I have a bunch of brat babies. But yeah, we still got four shelves to fill up with tanks, you guys. And secretly, I have another thing planned. So I think even with all these tanks filled up, it's or all these shelves filled up, it's still not uh, 65 tanks. Some of my tanks are cracked, but like I mentioned, I wanted to get them repaired. Um, I actually think... Oh, there he goes. He just went into the ceiling. But I actually think that if I were to fill all these shelves up, I actually need to buy more tanks. I never actually counted it up. And like how many tanks I can fit on each shelf. And it depends on how I configure it. Like, I think it's actually the same. Each shelf can hold six. Oh my god. He's stepping on all the glass. So I can do six tens or four twenties and two tens. I think I'm going to do six tens and a five on the top. And then four twenties and two tens on the middle. And then the 40 breeders go on the bottom. This shelf in the back is longer. So this, this shelf fits two forties and a 20, two forties and a 20. And then those are two twenty longs and then two tens. So I think on that one I'm gonna do six tens and a five. Um, I have a thirty gallon I need to put somewhere. I have a bunch of ten gallons. I only have a couple twenty gallons left. I don't know what I'm gonna do on that one yet. I still have to decide if I want to move the seventy five down here or if I want to have it in the living room or something I don't know anyway that's today's update you guys and I'll see you next time yellow labs looking good bye see you next time okay look one of the starry nights came out so I hope the other one can come out too it's the littler one that's missing now hey Geralt what are you up to bud all of his little ventral fins or are those anal fins? The little, they look like little arms. <laughs> they hang out. Which ones are they? Ventral is the... No, that's pectoral. Oh my gosh, I don't know. The ones that like hang down. <laughs> How am I a fish nerd and then forget what the fins are called? These ones. Those ones that hang right there. So cute. Girl, you're so cute. Girl... Look at your big fat eyeballs. You're a handsome boy. Or girl.
Girl, did you know that you're called a microlepis, which means tiny scales? Did you know that? Girl, you turning on your stripes for me? Tiger boy. Handsome. Girl, got annoyed. What are you putting Mohawk on for? Let me see your big fat eyeballs. You're just a tiny little baby. You're just a tiny little baby still. Big fat pleco poop. Girl, open up your fins like this. Like that, yeah. Like that. <laughs> Maybe he wants another another krill. You see me opening that for you, Geralt? My phone's gonna die. Excuse me, baby Binks, I dropped my tweezers. Do you see this? You want it? Okay, well, come on over here. There you go, bud. Yeah, drag the huge pleco poop all around. I wonder when the other Starry Night's gonna come out. Geralt, are you gonna come and get more? You want another one? We fed one to the the puffer, but he took a couple bites and let it fall down. Do you need another one? Yes or no? Good job. All right, let me give some pellets to this starry night because they were missing when we were feeding. Girl, you're chewing. Baby Monster's getting a big water change and tank cleaning this weekend, huh? Girl, you don't like pellets. He's looking at me, drop the pellets in. Only Starry Night likes pellets and Paku. And green spotted puffer leg.